everyone, Cinder89, welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space. I really don't like these dimly lidded hallways. I must say. Which kind of brings me to a question. I guess we can start off this episode with the question. I typically turn brightness pretty high. Pretty high up. I've got more intel on the atmosphere. A survivor's report says a massive creature entered the hydroponics deck from outside the ship. That's when the air quality began degrading. The survivor called it the Leviathan. Sounds lovely. The Leviathan. But I typically turn lighting, you know, like, like the brightness of the game up. Just because it's not to, like, make it easier or anything. Just because typically, like, my monitor and things like that are kind of dark. But do you turn brightness up in, uh, in games? It always seems like it's way too dark. Like, the default... And it says, you know, turn these, you know, move the slider until this logo is visible. Kind of wonder where that started too. It was the first, uh, it was the first game to use that whole logo thing, because that's what every every game does now. But I always have to turn brightness up. Are you the same way? Let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm curious. And also, hey, viewer interaction. You like that, right? Right. Cause I know I do. I always have to turn the brightness up. Ah, uh, through this door. Chemical research lab. Well, that sounds like exactly where I need to go. It should also look familiar. I see boxes. Wait a minute. No. Look where we're back to. Imagine that, right? Now we have to mix. Please stand by. Final mixing complete. Please remove the capsule. Poison capsule. I like the whole reddish. Look at us. Why are both those locked? Head back to the tram station and get up to hydroponics as fast as you can. Still no response from Hammond, so be careful. There's no telling how contaminated that deck is. I'm beginning to truly admire your spirit, misplaced as it may be. I think, I think you should see the whole plan. You should not spurn the hive mind's offerings. You deserve to witness that at least. Whatever, Doc. Totally thought I was gonna get jumped in here. Hmm. That way, huh? Then we shall go this way. Uh, money. Okay. Can always use more of that. More supplies are always good. Uh, credits. Ripper blades. Take those. Ripper blades. Take those. Line racks. Good, okay, yeah, I stored some, uh, I stored some stuff, that's right. Oh, safe station here. Might as well use it. Hey, Doc! Perhaps now you would understand. The work I have done must continue, will continue. I, Dr. Charles Mercer, shall serve as the catalyst to the salvation of our species. These specimens will return to Earth with me. I will spread their divine glory across the entire planet. I will leave you with my creation. Embrace the inevitable. <laughs> Money. 
high. It's our favorite person. Stasis, cut off your legs. Run. Run into the door. And press this button. Crouching. And grab the power node. Let's just hope that's the last we see of that thing. I've managed to override Mercer's lockdown. There's a secondary tram station nearby, and you can take it to hydroponics. Let's just hope there's enough time. Ha <laughs> ha, sucker! This is a, remarkably, a puzzle boss. Because I don't want to waste ammo and deal with it. I figured I'd just show you how it's done and then kind of explain it later. That is a cryo chamber. It freezes something and then sends it away. What you do, you want to, more more than anything, you want to knock out the legs, stasis it while it's inside the chamber, run in here, close it, buy a regenerator, get it out of your hair. Bye. Now, there's also, as you can see, other enemies in there that you'll have to deal with. If you're fast, you just get rid of the boss and then you can fight them. This took me a, a little bit to figure out the first time. I kind of figured it had something to do with that. Kind of came in here, used the cryo chamber, and was like, oh, I can use this. And then had to wait for it to reset and do it again. It's not a one shot. If you, you know, mess up, you just have to die and start over. No, no, it will reset and you'll be able to use it again. Like now you, I'd be able to use it again if the boss wasn't already gone. So you don't have to worry about that. You just try again. But there you go. You don't even have to go back in there and fight them. Because the way you want to go is right through there. Kind of interesting if you ask me. Oh, don't forget to pick up. I may have grabbed all the supplies in there. There's boxes around. Oh, no. I see one. That's honestly not worth it. But there are uh, boxes and ammo around. There's also a stasis recharge, which you can use in case you run out of stasis. Which is good because you're not going to, uh, you'll be able to get out of the way if you don't stasis him. So make sure you do that. It's, uh, it's required. Because by the time you, even if you knock off all the limbs, he'll probably regenerate by the time you can run in there if you're really fast you might be able to do it but you'd have to knock off all the limbs that way he couldn't crawl out either but with that ends chapter 5 lethal devotion And we'll see. Chapter 6. Environmental Hazard. Collect and use health packs to replenish your health bar. No, really. <laughs> huh, no store. Nobody I talked either. Clock, Dr. Elizabeth Cross reporting. I'm pleased to say that we're working close to maximum capacity at the present time. All flora is healthy and thriving and food yield has created a surplus. I was going to pass the surplus on to the colony, but the captain has given a no-fly order. I want to note my opposition to that order. Everyone knows they're in trouble down there and I don't see what denying them our surplus will achieve. Well, if what happened down on the planet is what happened up here, which is a good bet, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to risk the uh, the ship to that, even though it kind of happened anyway. A lot of bodies here. No! Go away.
There you go. Ooh, plasma energy. The only bad thing is you can't uh, single shot the the pulse rifle. If you just very quickly tap it, it'll shoot, as you saw, two or three rounds. Oh, I would definitely take the medium med pack. More ripper blades and line racks. Okay. It's all that's here. The lighting kind of gives it away that maybe you should explore that. It's a different way to go. The body hanging out is a nice uh, context clue, too. They could have given you none and you just easily walked past it. Uh, the game's good about that, and, and I'm thankful for it. You know, when there's no audio logs or anything like that, these cargo lifts really are just quiet. Hello. Contact energy. Uh, I want to take it just so I can complete the store. Let's see. What can we drop? I guess the line rack, sadly. We'll come back. Watering cycle initiated. Oh, now, now there's more line racks. Great. We'll just put them together then. Here, become friends. I'll, uh, pick those up later, I guess. Don't do that! Hammond? Is that you? No! Isaac. Okay. Good to see you in one piece. Don't take your helmet off. The air's rotten. I gotta look at it. It's huge. You won't believe it. Shut itself in food storage. Crew that was on this deck. I think they're what's poisoning the air. They've been transformed. I saw one of them. Bloated. Swollen. They're like poison factories. We need to take them out where we can still breathe. Hammond! I thought you were dead. You need to get to cleaner air. You're not going to be able to help Isaac in your condition. Isaac, I'm scanning the area now. He's right. There's something really big in food storage. But I can't get a good scan. Monitor readings are off the scale. Be careful. Oh, if you stalled it, Hammond, you did a good job. But you need to... Really? Come on. I can grab this, I believe. Yes. Come on, line racks. Look, now you have more friends. That is a full stack of line racks, by the way. Okay, Hammond. I guess just uh, just sit there. I'll uh, I'll take care of it. That's the door to food storage, but I can't override the integrity lockdown. You have to destroy the pods to bring the air quality up. Then you can go through and use the poison on the Leviathan. Okay, sounds great. Contact energy. I'm gonna go pick up those line racks, by the way. <laughs> Contact energy, one, one for 2,000. I forgot to mention about the whole contact beam, that ammo is also expensive. You're honestly better off trying to find ammo for the thing than buy it. But uh, if you really need to, it's one for 2,000. That's because of how much damage it does. Okay. Um. Let's 
Let's go pick up the line racks. Because they're there. <laughs> so why not? Hey, Hammond, you're still here? I mean, you could take the lift back up. There we go. That's not sound good. So I guess we'll just leave the... Uh... Monitor qu air quality control. Danger! <laughs> air purity is... Bad. That's... That's what I get out of that. Uh, nothing new in the store other than we got the uh, contact beam. Wants to go that way. Th that door is locked. Grow chamber. Huh? Well, as you can see, this will be kind of like your new uh, HUD's the wrong, you know, hub is the wrong word. But if you noticed in the past few places, you had a place where you have a save station and a store. And that's what this place is. You can come back here to save, you can come back here to sell stuff, buy stuff, whatever you need. A little bit of a shorter episode, but I'm going to end it here. Just because we have the whole, uh, we have the save point here, store. I don't think there's anything I'm going to do with the store, but you never know. I may just store the additional line racks or some ripper blades. I may mess with the inventory a little bit, but we're going to, uh, in this episode here, four large med packs. That's good. And next time we'll see if we can't poison this leviathan thing and maybe help out the uh, air quality control because that would be good so until then thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed hope you had a lot of fun hope you're enjoying this lp i know i'm really enjoying going through dead space again and playing on hard is definitely keeping me keeping me alert and on edge <laughs> so Till the next episode, I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.